Is Amazon advertising dead? Amazon ad costs are at record highs. And if you're a seller, you know it is the single biggest factor putting pressure on your profit margins. So today I'm going to share with you why Amazon ad costs have increased, whether you should be advertising on or off Amazon, which Amazon market has the lowest ad costs, the three worst categories in terms of Amazon advertising and the five best. And if you enjoyed this video, please drop it a quick like for me and let's jump jump in. And this is the Salix report for 2022. It basically compiles data from seven different Amazon marketplaces, over 2 million ad campaigns, and over a time frame of two years. So we we're able to use this data to answer all of those questions we posed at the beginning. On average with Amazon advertising, the cost per click is 75 cents internationally, and it's 87 cents in the US but it compares favorably when you look at Google advertising, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Walmart, as per these percentages here, it's generally a lower cost type of advertising. And that is because of high purchase intent. That makes sense because customers on Amazon are very close to making that purchase decision. And in 2021, seller revenues from ads grew by 23% on Amazon but growing competitions, driving a 22% increase in cost per click. That's because if we have more competitors, more sellers on the platform, that's more people bidding in those PPC auctions, that drives up the cost per click. So for you to show up in that same position, it's much more difficult. You have to outbid a lot more individuals. That's why we see higher cost per clicks. Amazon.com, that's US, is the most competitive. Cost per click, 87 cents, and the average ACOS is 35.6%. And I think it's important I quickly break down what those are. Cost per click, it really is an average of what you pay Amazon each time a customer clicks your ad on that keyword. The more bidders, the more expensive. And ACOS, advertising cost of sale, that really says, how much are you spending on ad spend to drive those ad sales? So if you make $100 in ad sales and you spend $35 on ad spend to make those sales, that is a 35% ACOS. In the Canadian marketplace, ACOS is down at 30.9%, so quite a bit lower than the US. But Canada does have lower conversion rates, 39% less than the US, their cost per click is also much less, at 41% less than US. Germany actually has the lowest ACOS of any marketplace, 28% lower than the US, which means the average ACOS there is about 25.6%. Remember, it's 356 in the US. And the conversion rates there remain quite high. They're just 20% lower than the US. And then if we look at product categories, the best ones here are tools and home improvement, 24%, industrial scientific, 28%, and sports and outdoors at 30%. The worst categories being beauty and personal care, 44, baby products, 42, and health and household at 39. We're going to get much more into which categories are the best for advertising based not only on ACOS, but other factors. Key things here before we continue is that the metrics given here are averages and the focus is going to be on the US marketplace, although we will touch on others and the currencies if they're in, let's say, GBP, British pound or euros. They have been converted to USD to keep this simple. So should you advertise on Amazon or off of Amazon on platforms like Facebook? Well, from the data here, we can see Google, Facebook, Amazon. Amazon's currently the smallest of all of them in terms of how much ad spend is spent there. But it's also the only one which increased market share in 2021. Now the cost per click, you can see the averages here. And Amazon ads actually cost 68% less than Google ads, 44% less than Facebook ads, as you can see here on this chart, where the averages for Google ads are way higher and Facebook the same. But more than cost per click, there's other advantages. The first is that Amazon advertising is lower funnel. What that really means is the customer's much closer to making the purchase decision. On top of that, Amazon is designed to sell. So you're gonna drive much more conversion in general. The other aspect is that you have more power here because you have advanced ASIN, keyword targeting, negative keyword targeting, 
and that gives you more control, gives you more power over your ads in comparison to some of these other platforms. I'm going to skip quickly over this part, but I did think it was quite interesting. There's a full timeline here of specific events, like when Amazon prioritized essential items, if you remember that. So you can download this below if you want to look through this as well. This data also found that only 24% of advertisers actually advertise on more than one marketplace. And so that brought up another question of are sellers missing out on the potential of expanding to other marketplaces? Are the other marketplaces more profitable? Do they have the same ad spend problems? And as we covered earlier, cost per click is a huge reason why we're seeing an increase in ad costs here. And that comes down to number of sellers. So if we look at North America, this number has now exceeded 3 million sellers, whereas in Europe, it's 1.4 million. And then if we look at the median cost per click of each marketplace, we can look at all of them here, but I'm going to look at Canada, Germany, UK, and US. And you can see that the UK and US are the most expensive, but the US is still by far the most expensive. Germany is in quite a good place considering it's the second largest marketplace. So in a market like Italy, the average cost per click is 28 cents, whereas in the US it's 87 cents. And so from this, we see there's a major difference between the marketplaces. The US is seeing this problem the most. So if you're struggling particularly with cost per click, with ad spend, but everything else about your product is solid, then you should consider expanding. Even locally in your unified account, let's say from US to Canada, or if you're selling in the UK where cost per click's a bit higher, consider Germany. And overall here, the US saw a year-over-year -year increase of 22% in cost per click. Then if we look at ACOS, we can see again Canada, Germany, UK, and US. And this was really interesting. Although the US has those higher cost per clicks each time a customer clicks your ad for a keyword, the ACOS is more in line with the other marketplaces. And worldwide, we saw an increase from 2020 to 2021 of just 4%. So it used to be 32.4, it's now 33.6. Also looking at the graphs here, we see that the North American marketplaces, that's Canada and the US, they saw the biggest increase from last year because this lighter gray is 2020, darker is 2021. Whereas Europe remained more static. It didn't change as much. Some of these look exactly the same. And so the Anglophone marketplaces, that's US, UK, and Canada, they saw an increase in this ACOS. And what that means is that ad spend growth, what sellers are spending on ads, that is outpacing. That's growing at a faster pace than ad revenue what you generate from those ads. So that is not a good thing when the ACOS goes up. And based on ACOS alone, Canada does represent an opportunity for US sellers. ACOS of 30.9% compared to 356 in the US. And in Europe, Germany has the lowest ACOS and it is 25.6%. Relatively low cost per click, 46% less than the US, so half of the US. But comparing these marketplace trends, we can see there's no direct correlation between cost per click, that's how much you pay per click of your ad, and ACOS, your overall advertising cost of sale. And so what they say here is overall ad profitability, that's your ACOS, if you're selling in a highly competitive market, high cost per clicks are no reason to be satisfied with poor returns on your ad spend. You just need to optimize. Now we're going to look at yearly growth trends for the US marketplace. This is 2020 versus 2021. So if we look at the growth in ad spend, this has increased massively. So 30% increase on average. Ad revenue, so how much we get from those ads, is 23%, so lower. And that is why we have an average higher ACOS as well, as we can see over here, a 7.5% increase on average in ACOS. That's because our ad spend is outpacing our ad revenue. Click-through rate, so when your ad is visible to customers, how often do they click it, is up almost 3%. Cost per click is up massively at almost 22%. Conversion rate is also up almost 7%. 
average order value is also up at 3.2. And remember, those aren't the actual numbers. That's the increase percentage from 2020 to 2021. And there's also more data here. I'm going to skip for the video, but you can download this below. And then let's look at ad spend versus ad revenue. We can see in the light blue is ad spend and dark blue ad revenue. And then here are all the months 2020 through 2021. And we can see the change. So ad spend has just slowly drifted upwards. And then ad revenue has had some major spikes along the way, but overall has also been on an upward trajectory. But then looking at that in percentage terms, the ad spend, this one here, although it looks like not such a big increase, that's a 30.7% increase. Whereas ad revenue, although this kind of looks like a bigger increase, it's only a 23.3% increase on average. Then click-through rates. So when a shopper sees your ad, how often do they click it? And in 2021, click-through rates were steadily higher than the year before. Again, 2020 light blue, 2021 dark blue. We can see it was 0.35% in 2020 and it's 0.36% in 2021. So really just a marginal increase here. What I did think was really interesting, you can see this massive spike here in quarter two of 2020. And that was caused by a shock to the system at the onset of the pandemic. So when that occurred, there was a massive increase in people clicking through to what they were presented with in terms of ads. And an increase in click-through rates is not always a good thing because if you're just getting interest clicks and those aren't converting, remember you are paying a cost per click for the click. So you do not want that. So it's not always a good thing, but generally it is considered a good thing as long as it's targeted buyers, which is much better on Amazon versus Facebook or Google. And if conversion rates are maintained or increased, because then those clicks result in sales. And then cost per click. Cost per click continues to grow steadily, exceeding a dollar at the end of 2021 on average. But looking at the yearly averages, it went from 72 cents to 87 cents. So that is a massive increase. What I also found really strange with these is these graphs look like direct inverses. Like this one goes up during these months, this one down during the same months. They almost mirror each other. I'm not sure for the exact reasoning of that, but it definitely looks like an inverse relationship if we look at 2020 and now 2021. And the primary driver of this is an increase in competition. And it's something you would actually expect because if we think about the pandemic, that's when people need to move online. All the purchasing's happening online. That's increased competition. Therefore, the amount of bidders in the PPC auctions for your keyword, and you're having to pay more to secure that same ad placement. Conversion rate. So once someone does click through, how often do they actually purchase your product? And these are consistently higher in 21 than 2020. So 7.9% in 2020, 8.4% in 21. And this can be seen as a very good thing because ad clicks are resulting in sales about 7% more. And so even if you're paying a higher cost per click, you're getting more sales from that same ad. So that is a good thing here. And then average order value. So when someone does order from you, what is the average amount of that order? And of course, this is for the entire US marketplace. In 2020, it was $26.02. It's now $26.84. But towards the end of the year, it almost got to $28. But we also have to consider 7% overall inflation in the US, probably actually much more. I would have expected this average order value to be higher. I would have expected a much bigger year-over-year -year growth because of the increase in costs shipping charges we're having to pay, etc. So definitely recalculate your profit margins, raise your prices if needed, because otherwise the sellers are going to take the hit here. And what needs to happen is this gets passed to the consumers, things like increased shipping costs, inflation, so that you can continue to run a profitable business, even if that means a rising tide lifts all boats and all prices go up. That needs to occur if you're seeing higher costs. So this one was surprising to me in that it didn't increase that much. And then ACOS. 
In 2020, 33.1%, 21%, 35.6%. This one as well, I would have expected to be a bit higher. However, I think what we're seeing is more purchasing occurring, as we saw with higher conversion rates, which have increased quite a lot. So it means we're paying higher cost per clicks, but we're converting more of those clicks. And so this is not a bad thing. This increase I would have expected to be higher. And remember, higher ACOS is not good. But overall, Amazon advertising campaigns on Amazon are less profitable than they were in 2020. And that can largely be attributed to rising costs of ad clicks. That's our rising cost per click because of more competition. And now I want to focus on Amazon ads, but at the category level. So which categories perform the best and worst? Now, most of this data is going to show year over year growth as we just went through looking at the most important KPIs and including all of these categories here. If we look at click through rate, so when customers see your ad, do they click on it or not? We can see health and household, beauty and personal care saw increases here. Those products are being clicked more when the ad is seen. Automotive did have a drop though. The best click through rate category is office products, the one with the most growth health and household, the bottom categories grocery and gourmet, and the biggest drop was automotive. Again, all of this data is 2020 versus 2021, and you can see the change here. And then after each of these snapshots with the graph and summary, you can actually see the causal relationship. So why did that change occur? And you can go through all of these if you download this below. Cost per click, we saw rises in all categories. Health and household still the most expensive. Largest percentage increase was in patio, lawn and garden and sports and outdoors. Cheapest cost per click is toys and games. The most expensive is health and household, $1.22 on average. And the biggest increase was patio, lawn and garden. And if you think about it, that does make sense because pre-pandemic, people might go to a physical store to buy that type of product. Now they're buying it online meaning sellers are selling those products online instead of offline, driving up the cost per click to get that ad position. Conversion rate, almost all categories saw an increase here, only toys and games saw a decline. The largest growth is in baby products, electronics, beauty and personal care. So the top category, grocery gourmet, biggest growth electronics, biggest drop toys and games and the bottom category here is clothing shoes and jewelry average order value electronics saw a drop here tools and home improvement rose to almost 45 dollars the average order value in that category and the strongest growth was in patio lawn and garden again clothing shoes and jewelry and toys and games so top category here tools and home improvements and the biggest growth again patio lawn and garden and acos now most categories saw a rise in acos here clothing shoes and jewelry tools and home improvement were stable and toys and games had the toughest year and it had a 35 percent increase in acos you can see here this line just going straight up so that one does not have very profitable advertising at this point. Best category, tools and home improvement, also has a very high average order value, almost $45. And the worst category here, beauty and personal care. Overall, here is my synopsis, 2021 median values versus 2020. So we can look at what is in 2021 in this column here, and then the trend, which is Compared to 2020, what is it now, 2021? What's the change from 2020? Now you can download this to go through all of them, but I have highlighted in red the worst categories in my opinion. The only one that's missing is toys and games, which I would also be very careful of based on what we just covered. But if we look at baby products, we can see the ACOS on average is 42.1%. Average order value is also quite low. And remember, we want to sell higher price products at $22. Another one I would put in the bottom three is beauty and personal care. You can see again, 44% average ACOS. Average order value even lower at $21.83. And the click-through rate of your ads when your ads are seen in this category by shoppers is quite low, how often they actually click through. And for me, click-through rate, this is like the weakest column, like it's the least we can base decisions on. However, it is still important as a 
performance metric of how well ads work, how often do customers click on ads in that category. But in my opinion, the others are much more important. I would also put grocery and gourmet in the lowest few categories. You can see a 37% ACOS, but the average order value is very low. The cost per click is astronomical, over a dollar here. And the click-through rate is not good either. Also, many of these products are going to expire. So personally, it's just not my favorite category. And if I had to add one more, my fourth lowest would be toys and games. 35% ACOS, so it's not astronomical like some of these over 40 on average. It's still very high. And I don't like that trend of how much it's increased because it may well increase much further. Also, the average order value is not that high, $25. And the conversion rate is one of the very lowest. So that's after people have clicked the ad, how often they buy. That is one of the lowest here. The only one that's lower is clothing, shoes, and jewelry, which you would kind of expect with clothing. The one silver lining here is that the cost per click is one of the lowest compared to the other categories, but I still don't like the trend of this one. And then the top five categories for advertising on Amazon. Automotive, 31.2 ACOS. Average order value is much higher, $31.7. We also have cost per click of 62 cents, one of the lower ones. And the click-through rate here is also very high. It's within the top three or four in terms of click-through rate, how often customers click your ads. Electronics, 30.9% ACOS, a $42 average order value, which you would expect in some ways with electronics. The cost per click here is not the lowest, it's like right in the middle. However, the average order value, if you can sell at a higher price, you're going to sink in that cost per click and the ACOS is good. Sports and outdoors are comparable, 30% ACOS, $35 average order value, very good. And the same principle would apply here, kind of middle ground cost per click, but these are good data points here. And then the top two, in my opinion, industrial and scientific second place, 28.8% ACOS, so very, very good. 31.69 average order value, also very good. And conversion rate is also reasonably high in this one. And in first place, tools and home improvement. But at 24.8% average ACOS, the average order value is almost $45. That's probably why we also have a lower ACOS, because you're able to sink in the cost per click much more easily. This cost per click, even though we're talking about high average order values, high prices, the cost per click is also one of the lowest here. The conversion rate in this category is not that good. But for me, these last two metrics are more important because even if we're not converting that much, if the ACOS is under 25% on average, that is still very good and great price points in this category. And in these last few slides, they also give you more links, resources, ways to optimize further. I can see I'm even on this report here, and you can also analyze your products totally free using their benchmarker. I'll also link that below for you, but do remember you can grab this report right below this video in the pinned comment and video description. Before you go, if you did enjoy this, please drop this video a quick like for me, comment on your category and average ACOS, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and I will catch you in the next video.